It was our great American dream, buy a house and raise our kids in it. And it was great, but now the kids are grown and gone, yet we still have the home that used to house four, five, six people or more. So it comes down to the question, should we stay or should we go? Relocation specialist Leanne Spasic is here to help us decide if we should love it or list it. Leanne's with North Coast Residential Relocation. Thanks for joining us, Leanne. Thank you, Armin. So our home, it has a lot of memories. That's the most important thing. And the kids and grandkids, they still come to visit and they feel comfortable. So don't we need that? Don't we need that space? Well, the kids are really important, but the fact is that I've been to many people's homes and they're only living in a very small portion of that house. And then I have to ask myself, why are we paying for the electricity and the utilities in that big house when they're using such a small part of it? And I think what's really important for people is that um, they have safety, convenience, and quality of life in the home in which they live. All right, so Tell us how those factors, safety, convenience, quality of life, how those factors come into play when deciding if it's time to leave your home. Well, they also interrelate with a person's age, their health, and their physical well-being. And by example, I would, I would say um, if a person is having difficulty going up and down steps, uh, just to go up to the bedroom or to go down the stairs to do laundry can be challenging. And then we add to that uh, the maintenance of a house, upkeep, cleaning, and it can become really difficult. And then also um, in a case where someone has health issues or they lose a spouse, they can become isolated in that house and um, they, their peers next door, people move away, younger families come in, and they lose their, their peer and their, their peers and their support system. Lots of people are afraid to move. They're afraid that their good life is going to disappear. And uh, are there, tell us, I mean, you know, people think of nursing homes. I mean, are there options out there that, uh, that people can look forward to? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, there are senior communities, there are single floor of living in condominiums, independent living, assisted living if people need more help. So these are all places that people might consider. The biggest problem is that they don't make the choice soon enough frequently and they wait and wait until there's some personal situation or, or a physical situation, either they should have a fall or a, a spouse passes and now they're, the children are suddenly brought into the situation and they're making the decisions and our senior client is not in control anymore. A, a week or two ago we had uh, the folks from Breckenridge Village on and they, mm -hmm. I mean it's like a country club you're almost you're living in so there's it a is. lot of nice options out there I know. Uh, expense, uh, uh, can we afford to move out of our homes? That's a great question. And what I like to tell people is, you know how we make a pros and a cons list? I would say let's make a stay list and a move list. And under that stay list, list actually what your costs are of staying in the house. If it's a mortgage, taxes, insurance, um, landscaping. You have to consider all the costs. There's all a lot of costs, costs of staying in your home too, so maybe exactly. it's not so expensive to leave. Well, and then you have to compare that with the move cost, in which case if they go to an independent living place like Breckenridge, they can expect to have not only their rent included, but also meals, dining. And you help people with these decisions and with I the do. move itself. I do. Thank you very much. Great information, Leanne. So moving can be overwhelming, especially when leaving the home where you raised your children is involved. But, but making that move may be the best move for your finances, your health, your quality of life. If you need help deciding if this is the right move for you, move on over to the phone and give Leanne a call. Her number's up next. Find out more by calling Leanne Spasic at North Coast Residential Relocation, 440-248-5281, or click to www.northcoastrelo.com. Next, keep your IRA secure.